Imagine that we all have a deadline due at midnight and we've only got one hour left because we procrastinated on the paper. Now we regret our decision and we start writing the paper like our lives depend on it. But what if we didn't have to write the paper ourselves and instead just type in the prompt of what we need and have our computer generated for us on the fly? We've heard it everywhere, on the news, from our teachers, and maybe even our parents. AI is supposedly the solution for our deadline in an hour. But is it? For the past year, the first generative AI models have been released to the public, and they've since gathered attention and commotion. But what is all the fuss about? My name is Joop Hinderink. I'm 18 years old, and I'm here to share my point of view on AI. In 2022, I took a deep dive into the world of AI when following pre-university at the University of Leiden. Since then, I've maintained my curiosity, and I've also written my final research paper on the topic. I think we're all quite known with the implications AI can have on our society, and that's why today, I will be primarily focusing on how purposeful our lives will be if we decide to use AI in our daily lives. Let's start off with a brief explanation of what we're talking about. AI stands for artificial intelligence, and it is the principle that a machine can learn independently and make patterns in data given to it. It can learn languages, mathematics, and other tasks that used to require human intelligence. AI can be found in apps like Spotify, where there are mainly algorithms that decide what content to serve you with. Thus, their primary goal is to make recommendations in the background of already existing content tailored just for you. This can be useful so that you don't have to do the searching yourself. The AIs we've seen being released for the past year are a very different sort of AI, and they're called generative AI. These AIs can create images, sounds, texts, and soon even videos. Fundamentally, all these AIs do the same work in the background, the difference being in how it is presented to us. With generative AI, it is presented in a very human-like manner, and the content shown has not been created before. These AI systems can grow exponentially, and their only limitation is the storage servers that they have. These storage servers can be grown according to companies' needs, and who knows how far these companies are willing to go. We as humans, however, have certain capabilities and limitations of things we can do and comprehend. For example, this equation. Can I have people raise their hand who think can, can solve this equation without a phone or calculator? Well, probably no one in this room. And that's because our brains are incapable of comprehending such numbers. And that is why we use calculators nowadays. The same thing can be applied to AI. If I ask someone in this audience at this very exact moment to write me a 400-word essay on what Ted Exude at Harlem is, and to do this in 20 seconds, can I have people raise their hand that think can do this? I can guarantee you no one in this room is able to, as let alone writing 400 words in 20 seconds is impossible, let alone do the thinking. Now, let's take a look at what an AI can come up with for us.
Now, you definitely don't have to read all of this. It just goes to show how powerful an AI can be. And it can make you wonder what your use is in this world, when an AI can do everything faster and better than you. When we're talking about artificial intelligence, the name Elon Musk has almost become unavoidable to mention. And it has become a household name. When it comes to him, he thinks AI is capable of defeating poverty by removing repetitive jobs and making room for more creative positions where humans can truly express themselves. But is this realistic? I am here to challenge this idea. The problem with this statement lies exactly in what is supposedly to be the solution, as AI is capable of replacing all sorts of jobs, and not just repetitive ones. The rise of AI can be compared to the rise of machines during the Industrial Revolution. During this time, a lot of jobs were replaced by machines. But there also arose a lot of new jobs with it, such as making these machines and sustaining them. The same thing can be said about AI, the difference being on what skill it plays a role. AI is capable of replacing a larger number of jobs in a larger number of sectors. AI can be applied in almost any sector, which means that the newly created jobs will not compensate for the lost jobs. So, how far are we willing to go to hand AI our jobs? AI is capable of doing a business's entire financials, make legal contracts, and even argue a convincing defense in court. AI is therefore capable of replacing low-value jobs as well as high-value jobs. It is only not capable of replacing top-level positions, such as a CEO or a founder. These positions are the core of a company and are difficult to replace. In other words, the people with money will only make more money, whereas on the other side, the people at the lower end will find themselves losing their jobs, struggling to keep around in a highly competitive job market. So, what will our future look like? We have two scenarios. The first one is a world wherein AI solves all world problems and no one is poor anymore. The lower and middle class would be better off with the help of AI, and poverty will be a thing of the past. Everyone will be using artificial intelligence, and no one has to do anything themselves again. Sounds good, right? The second one is one wherein AI solves only the higher class problems, while only causing more problems for the lower and middle class. In other words, the social disparities between people would only continue to widen. So, to combat this problem and avoid the second scenario, I am of the opinion that when we're talking about artificial intelligence, we should not be as worried about what it is capable of doing, but rather on whether or not we as humans decide to give the task to AI, or if we choose to use our own intelligence and knowledge to make something uniquely our own. We should all consider the consequences of utilizing AI and use it responsibly, because whether we want it or not, AI is here to stay. So, remember the deadline we had due in an hour. In the meantime, we only have 15 minutes left. Therefore, we either choose to use AI to make a very impersonal paper that only a network of data can be proud of. Or we decide to better plan ahead next time, write the paper ourselves, and create something that we can be proud of and show off to our friends and family.
We should know when we need to work smarter, not harder, and when we have to work authentically and not artificially. Thank you.